OK, I was going to show you how to tidy up your graph a wee bit with the labels and units and axes and grid lines and things. So, if you're doing this on a PC, you'll have a little plus sign over here where you can add different chart elements. On a Mac, I've got to do it this way, add a chart element. So, you'll see that same list. So, first thing we want to do is make sure you add minor horizontal grid lines and minor vertical grid lines. I've already done that, just so that you get all the grid lines on your graph. Second thing is, you probably want a title, a chart title above your chart. Yours might be there already. And obviously we want axis titles, horizontally, there it is, and vertically. There it is. Now these are pretty small just now, so if you click on them, and Change the font size, 20 is good. Let's do that one, 20 is good. And your title, 20 is good. And you can type in there whatever you like, just the same as usual. So what are we going for? Measuring G. And your titles will just be what they are, so along the way we've got length and meters. And the tricky one is this one, because what we've got there, now instead of left and right arrows, it's up and down arrows here. We want period squared. Period. Now I know what you're going to ask me. I'm going to say, how do you superscript that? It's a pain in the neck on the Mac. It's much easier on a PC. Anyway, you highlight it. You format the cell. And it gives you the superscript option. All the usual text formatting tools. So, does that work? wrong there. There you are. Oh, we also need the unit after that as well. You donkey. Space. Brackets. Seconds. Squared. Right, now that's all superscript. Point. Take superscript off. That's just the two that I want superscripted. Okay. That's it, I think. That's it all labelled correctly. You can get the numbers a bit bigger if you want. A bit wee at the moment, maybe 12. But you can mess about with this all you like. And that is how you do your graph on Excel. Label it correctly with the correct units. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to do uncertainties in the gradient. Oh, one last thing. I don't like that dotted line. So I'm going to format my trend line. It's a bit linear, yes. Um, that's the paint pot again. I don't want it blue, I want it black. And I don't want a dash line. So in my dash type here, I want it solid. It's a bit heavy as well, so I want the width a bit lower, about 0.5 sign. Okay, close that. There's my graph. And then the third one will show you how to use it's called the line est function, which works out uncertainty in the gradient and the uncertainty in the y-intercept.